Hello and good evening to any and everyone out there in the wider world. I hope all of you are doing fantastic this evening. We'll be getting things going momentarily, just getting some last minute touches done on my end. Okay. Enjoy the wake music I will be with you all momentarily. Officially 10 o'clock. Uh, let's get things going first and foremost with the art compilation from last session. Here we go. I don't know why, I mean I do know why, it's technically a new video file so it reset all of the every settings that I had for that already. Um, but yes, that's oddly crackly, what the hell? I'm still a little quiet? Let's put this all the way back up to the top, maybe top up the gain just a little bit. Um, am I good now? I mean, granted, there's nothing going on currently, so let's swap back to something that uh, uh, actually has some audio to it to actually judge. All righty. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So yes, uh, in that case, let's get things going with Pokemon Emerald. Where last we left off, we were in Verdant Turf Tunnel, mostly just uh, <laughs> beating the ever-loving piss out of the majority of the flora, of the local flora and fauna, um, trying to level everyone up, basically. Um, I think I got everyone to the roughly levels 15, 16, somewhere in there. Um, yes. Okay. 
which means I do believe that the next thing on our docket, after touching base in the Pokemon Center to heal and replenish the power points of every individual Pokey, uh, would be to try to beat the shit out of me. That shouldn't prove to be difficult at all, will it? Go away, you stupid bug. Yes, the Ninkada has fallen. Like Olympus has fallen. I will do my level... Well, here's the thing. I actually have a water type that knows water type moves now. Um, and I will... I have moved everything away from the power button. Uh, so <laughs> I can't punch the off button on my computer midstream. Oh, God. Something tells me that is something that you will never, ever let me live down. Which is fair, because turnabout's fair play, I probably wouldn't let you live it down either. Forgetting things. I still had all of the counters up from Golden Sun. I knew I was forgetting something during setup. There we go. Now the appropriate numbers for this run are showcased. feature put into your Pokenav? Let's register each other so we can contact one another anytime! I'd rather not. Bitch, lose my number. And yes, I would assume you said to with his beloved pet. Yes, bite me. Fear me. Such a difference having everyone equitably leveled up would do. Right. No, let's just keep headbutting the hmm. Ow. Yes. Alright. I can't quite play around the crit on that. So we're going to use that flinch to switch safely into Ponder. Pound her, Ponder! Pitter-patter. Oh, Pitter-patter, let's get at her! You know what, Ray? Words hurt, dear. I did, in fact, beat the bloody chicken. I have made tendies. Maybe even a nugget. Oh, by the way, Mr. Briny, who I just passed. Codex, you just moved here, so you might not know this, but Mr. Briny was once a revered seafarer. Yes, dear, I knew that. I think anyone who's actually ever played this game up until literally that point knows, hey, let's go talk to Mr. Briny. I want the bowl. 
Go for it! Hmm. Hmm. That's accuracy. Yes, I would like to cut it down. Go ahead, hmm? Oh, look. It's Alaska. I must smush him. Hey. What are you doing, Black Lady? <laughs> to be fair, I had him for less than like twelve hours. Ooh, miracle seed. That boosts grass type moves. Oh, yes, and also, hmm, whilst well, training, just picked up, of all things, a king's rock. Just because, why not? Yes. No? Shut up, Dad. Give you the. Ooh, no? No. Item, take, added it. Item, take. No, it does you no good to have the miracle seed. Your primary color palette might be green, but you are not a grass type. Take solace, I'm giving you an item, just something you actually can use. The quick claw. Which will be very useful when we get to Duford as um, it's your job to sweep the entire bloody gym. But why do you think I wasn't overly... Um, uh, <laughs> I kept the psychic type alive, so I wasn't overly terrified that I wasn't able to quite catch a flying type Pokemon. Which, granted, I can technically amend that uh, in Granite Cave by catching a Zubit. Which, actually, like, all things considered, Zubat Gold by Crobat is actually a very good Pokemon line. Crobat is incredibly fast and has actually pretty good special attack. Like, for a fast sweeper, Crobat is not a bad choice. Why do I keep going to headbutt? That is egregiously overkill. They're level 5. Hmm. I know you're a vicious, vicious raccoon, but still. Ooh, a great ball. That's useful. That's handy. Let's put that back in my pocket. What's he got in his pre pockets, precious? A great ball. And an exit attack. Is there anything down here? There's something here. Yes! Tiny mushroom! <laughs> Tiny mushroom! It's all one word. No spaces, no pauses. It's all one bloody word. Whee! I do believe that's an item that they only use for it is to sell it. Yes, yes. A plain mushroom that will sell at a cheap price. Thankfully, uh, Pokemon does not have bag limitation, item limitations anymore. Hold on, lass! Wait up, Pico! Hmm? Ah, your codex! You saved my darling Pico! We owe so much to you. What's that? You want to sail with me? Mm hmm. You have a letter bound for Duford and a package for Slateport, then. Quite the busy life you must lead. I don't know, I'm ten. But certainly what you're asking is no problem at all. You've come to the right man, we'll set sail for Duford. Yes, please. Thank 
Thank you, Mr. Barney. Anchors away, Pico. We're set in sail, my darling. I'm hitting into the red a wee bit. I'm going to back up a couple of inches from my microphone. Onward to glory. Beep. <laughs> it that is oddly satisfying. I, I you got it. You got to find the enjoyment. Oh, Codex. Uh, where are you now? It sounds windy wherever you are. I just heard from Mr. Devins, Mr. Stone, about your Pokemon, so I decided to give you a call. It sounds like you're doing fine, so that's fine with me. You take care now. Click. All right, Dad. Thank you for that pointless phone call. Registered, Dad, Norman, in the Pokemon. Such. It, like, I, I, it's such a pointless phone conversation, like, it, like, it could have been worked into getting the Pokenav that, hi, yes, here, oh, make sure to register your parents, and it just automatically registers them. That's all it would have needed. person where this phrase in the Pokemon Center always felt wrong to me. <laughs> Apparently. But yeah, no, like, it's just one of those moments of, like, in this game, it's like, we hope to see you again, here, in this location, where our only job is to heal Pokemon after you get them hurt. It's just one of those things where it's like, Here in Duford, we have an opportunity to get a magic arm. Or not. An opportunity to get a magic arm. Damn it! An opportunity to get a magic carp. There we go. I forgot I had to hit the button. Carp, carp. I mean, they do. It's just that most JRPGs actually include, you know, a halfway decent mechanics for it beyond just throw and we're not really gonna tell you you need to press A, but you need to press A. Alright. I caught a fishy. Oh wow, Ray. You're almost two magic carps tall. I don't have any more female followers to name Magic Harp after. Hmm. Pointlessly rude and cruel, dear. Why would you do that? All I'm doing is pointing out the painfully factual information 
that a magic carp that is roughly 2 feet and 11 inches tall, if two are stacked upon each other, it's just barely taller than you. I'm not being cruel, I'm literally just doing strict maths. Alright, um, let's see. Magic carp, your name would be... all of our enemies, dear. Good fish. You're placed in box one. And yes, I had to name the fish a bloody pun. Unless you were telling me to name the fish Perish, in which case I'm sorry. I thought you were just yelling at me. I hope not to need this fucking thing, but here we have the death box. bad for having just leveled up Ponder when I'm gonna just... Actually, no. I'm gonna wait to pull out the Magic Carp because I cannot evolve it yet. I'm not gonna wait... I'm not gonna pull out the Magic Carp until I get to a point where I can just immediately pull it out and force it into becoming a Gyarados. I do suppose that if it's that dire, just use a bloody catheter and a two-liter. Fisherman Ned. Oh, a tentacle! I'm not saying it, was, it would be a good choice upon Ned's behalf, but... If his only choice is don't... Go to the bathroom or go to the bathroom, I will choose go to the bathroom. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna try once to get through the confusion. Oh, thank God. Ooh, yay! A super effective critical hit. Almost like I was using a psychic against a poison type. Fear me. Alright. Now, Ray Darling, I will try to keep in mind that the level cap for this gym is 19. If I pass it, please yell at me. Or when I get close, just yell at me. <laughs> I mean, life imitates art, imitates life. <laughs> uh. 
I lost because I'm trying to not go to the washroom. Yeah, buddy. That's the reason. And it couldn't quite possibly be because I threw a psychic type at a bloody poison type. Hmm, me thinks. I mean, yes, I wasn't gonna say it, but yes, that, that is technically an option as well. Let us switch to farmers. We are farmers. Bum, ba -dum, bum, 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 bum. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, I just completely forgot that I still had uh, hmm, in the front. Ironically, I can't remember if my girlfriend has a single grass type move. Did, did I fuck up? No, I did not. After stream, I think I might go downstairs and make ramen and add a dollop of that uh, curry miso compound butter to it. That would actually be delicious. If you're ever, ever in a pinch to make a good savory compound butter, um, if you have any excess like ramen noodle packets, just beat that with room temperature butter. Like especially if you're using the the if you have any of like the beef packets, use that. Use the the beef ramen compound butter to baste a steak. Oh, good shit, good shit. That's the thing, not all of the butter is ever absorbed in the steak. So honestly, like, you could just forego... I just hit the button on accident, but I'll take it. Um, you could forego some of the salt you'd use to normally, like, pre-season the steak. our encounter for here anyway, so... You know what? Here's that Zubat I was talking about! I'm also not talking about this in terms of health. I mean, obviously, yes. Forgo some of the, the salt you use in the primary room, mostly just a mixture of garlic powder and cracked pepper 
and like maybe half the salt you'd normally use to quick brine a steak before throwing it on the grill. What do we name with the bank? Because it's another female. I only have one more follower. And it's schoolboy chocolate milk. And boy is literally in his name. Um, any thoughts, Ray? Because my brain's thinking just name it subsonic. Because, you know, flying type, but also echolocation. It's a pun. Sanic the Hedgehog. It is the right color palette. The Sonic movie? Now, I know what I just said about Switch Trading, but I am going to swap Soup Sonic out for Lost Boy Key. Ah. No, no, I have not. I will also admit, if you have not watched the Polygon Unraveled with Brian David Gilbert of him unraveling the uh, history and lore of the Sonic universe, it is a treat. Alright, Lost Boy. Get in the box. Yes, please. I like me some. It's so good. Like, as much as I am so happy that Brian David Gilbert is doing his own thing and happy about, excuse me, and happy about it, I am so sad that Polygon Unraveled is dead. It was such a source of joy for literally my entire family. <laughs> but I can say this. I take solace in the fact that Brian David Gilbert shares my love of the hurdy-gurdy. <laughs> it makes me happy. Why couldn't I have gotten the Mokohita? Like, I'm happy to have Soup Sonic. Soup Sonic. But still. Switch train. The new psychic. Onion child. Nope, just die. Just die. Oh wow, you work fast. That's a bad joke, not doing that, not doing that. I 
a relaxed nature. What does that mean for me? Why do I only get the worst possible nature options? I mean, I'm happy to have inner focus. That is good. But relaxed is literally defense up and speed down. Speed is the main reason you want a Crobat. They are one of the speediest Pokemon in the gosh darn game. <sighs> anyway. I have yet to have an advantageous nature on a single Pokemon, though. At this point, it's just rude. <sighs> My little iron ant friend. Hi. I am now apparently underleveled. Go ponder. I want to live. I always thought it was based on an ant. It might not be, but like I was always like 85% certain it was based on like a worker ant. Good soup. That would make a lot more sense. I am checking. Yeah, literally, uh, just, uh, yeah. Literally just look, had that roll in, uh, based on the Bulgarsari, um, its name is a portmanteau of iron and armor. Um, yeah. Go soup, Sanic. I want, I want a rock type goat Pokemon. Base it on a mountain goat, somewhere between a, a proper mountain goat and like an Ibex, because they are sort of retroactively now, originally imported, but technically now native species of the Rockies. I, like, it would be so effective visually. Am I making this a lot harder than it needs to be? Yes! Because I'm doing this before I get the bloody badge. 
Go-Goat is, I believe, only grass. Yeah, I think Skidoo and Go-Goat are grass. They might be grass normal, possibly grass ground. Um, but I think of any of them, I think just pure grass. But like, I'm thinking the, the sort of goat equivalent of rock rough, where it's spent so long in the grit and ground and dirt that it's just so long since become a part of it that it's woolen coat has sort of been impregnated with so much silicate and dust. You see, because that would make sense. But it's Pokemon, so that's not allowed. Technically speaking, you can literally just go from one gym fight to the next after you do Pico Booster. Wrong Pokemon. Poo. You look all starving. That's just rude. What about you die? Or not? Yeah, like... Wooloo and Dubwool would make the most sense, especially since they are British long hair sheep, which are notorious for getting so much grit and grime caught in their wool. Like, it would almost make too much sense for them to be either that or to double down on the detritus aspect and turn them into steel type. Nope. We the only non-normal sheep type we have is electric. Thanks to Mareep and Flaffy from Gen 2. Why can I not use teleport to get out of the bloody fight? I'm just trying to get out. I do love Flaffy. If this was Gen 2, I would be fighting tooth and nail to have a Mareep on my team. <laughs> I love them so much. Like, I love Mareep Flaffy with my awkward, like, teenager sheep, and then Ampharos, which is sub. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what is up with Ampharos. It's a very useful Pokemon, but it doesn't look anything like a sheep that my brain's just looking at it going, What? I mean, I get that it's it's a fully sheared sheep. I, I understand that from an intellectual standpoint. But it's just one of those things where it's just like... You couldn't even put, like, some tufts on it? Like, that's why I love the design of Mega Ampharos so much. Because it actually does add back in some of those more sheepy elements that make it a little bit more recognizable. Like, literally just a little. Replace the um, red bead on its head with a little bit of a cotton floof, and I think that's really all it would have needed. Like, 
let it keep the big red orb on its butt. But I don't think it necessarily needs the red and jewel on its forehead. You could swap that out with a little, uh, little floofy pompadour instead. And I think that would have would have read much better. Every time I see Soup Sanic. Yeah, never mind. Oh, it is. I am by no means disputing that. Good, strong name. That never feel like a word spaghetti. That's not early enough in the name for me to, or early up, early enough in the day for me to sound like Sam Elliott. There is the exit. I just wish to leave. Psychic is effective against poison, which means that this should be more than enough to just sort of flick you into non-existence, Zubat. I I could, but I don't trust myself to do that and not screw it up. He'll stall the rest of the party. Because I keep forgetting to do that uh, out of combat, and I am a fool. I am, in fact, a fool of a toque. You see, and now it's just trying to sturdy its ass up means I no longer feel bad for this. Heal up orb. I need my orb to be healthy or else I cannot ponder it. I don't think I... You see, the ultimate meme would be if I could somehow teach this Meryl foresight or future sight. Then it would become the ultimate fucking meme orb. Yay, Soup Sanic. Leveled up. Good Sanic. Alright, I'm just gonna use the bloody escape rope I have. I'm just gonna say goodbye. <laughs> it wasn't working outside of battle. I tried. It was saying no. I don't think it works in caves in Gen 3. I think it just works in the overworld. I will double check that. 
teleport Jane 3 No, teleport is just used to flee from battle now in Gen 3. That's dumb. That's very dumb. <laughs> Alright, you know what? To heck with that. Instead, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the Pokemart. Is there I don't think I don't think there's a Pokemart in Doofy. No, no there's not. I always forget that because it feels like fucking sacrilege that there's not a Pokemart in Duford. I think that boosts normal type moves, if memory serves. Yup. save here in Duford and I'm going to take a quick break uh, for this little bird to use the little bird's room we will be right back in a couple of moments Alright, that's not even remotely annoying uh, in the slightest. But regardless, we back. Back in Duford with our no with our silk scarf, which boosts our normal type moves. And are the bullshit. So we're going to do something that might be partially folly, but we are going to switch train Soup Sanic. Welcome her back! Yes. So we're going to do something that might be really fucking stupid. Um, we are going to switch. Hello. Yes. Okay. I will be honest, I've not actually played through this gym in Emeralds in a long time. There we go. So, yes, I'm going to do something possibly very stupid. 
I am going to be switch training from Soup Sanic. Never mind, not into um, little uh, little Ray bot, little uh, little Ray. Um, that's a psychic. That's fighting psychic. Well, actually, you know, I'm going. I can, no matter what, I can at least tank one snake. Maybe. How rude! I have a quick claw, you little shite. And that, that's double team. Let's make us harder to hit. Yeah, so no, what we're gonna do is we're just going to double team through your bye. So yeah, it's bide failed. Which means we should be safe to just smack it. There we go. Yes! Good. Good. I hate that that's a priority move. That is such a stupid priority move. It doesn't matter because it's dead, but still. You swear to soup, do you? Broccoli and cheddar, or, you know, chicken noodle? Yes. Yes, you lost, you flying heel kicking motherfucker. Just make peace with that. I soup to swear. You see, I'm partial to a nice French onion, but I do suppose that would be a mixture of soup, routes, and shrooms. Oof, oof, oof. <laughs> You're stumbling around in the dark. Oh, oh no, that was that was a woman, not the sailor. I'll show you the gumption of a sailing man. I'm a sailor man. Battle girl Lilith and Sailor Brendan would like to battle. Meditate and Machop. This. This is ill tidings, is what this is. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna swap you immediately. No, farmers. Because you've got the quick attack, which will actually, which will work as a priority move. Machop is pure fighting, which means that when I hit it, it should be more than enough to just smack the ever-loving crap out of you. Exactly. You're using focus energy. I don't like that at all. We are going to use Quick Attack on you. Actually, no. We're going to use Pursuit. Yes, Pursuit, which is Dark, on you. We're going to use, continue to use Confusion on you. No, Pursuit is effective on Ghost, not Psychic. I'm a fool. You know, if that's a crit, that's not bad. There we go. Die, you Hindi little bastard. No. 
It's exactly like you to lose this way, Brandon. It's exactly like it. Alright, to the bag we go! To the potions! How is Farmer the only one that's actually taking damage? I mean, I'll take it, but still. Look, Battle Girl, the only place you need to crush me is between thighs. And otherwise, just go away. I just auto scroll through that attack. Um, what is Hmm's defense? 18 and 20. Honestly, not bad. I'm gonna switch into Hmm. is in fact exactly what I wanted to hear. <sighs> Let's go. Desired reaction at all, but at least Soup Sanic leveled up. That's uh, that's an acceptable margin of success, I suppose. <sighs> okay. See, that would be useful if any psychic it. <laughs> no, Bonkus, you're alive at 11. This just in Ray's still alive at 11. I think I already fought you. Whatever. I will gladly fight Black Belt Christian. I mean, to be fair, I will gladly fight any Christian that you know, deserves it. Wait. Actually, one second. Let me double check what Astonish is. It's a ghost attack. Pokemon run a summary on Soup Sanic. Gonna go ahead, no, gonna go ahead and check what Astonish do. So that'd be useful to swap it into a flinch, which would actually, if it can flinch it, it would actually give me a 
perfect opportunity to switch a Pokemon without any fear of reprisal. I don't know what... <laughs> I hate myself so much. I got stuck, stuck in that fucking thing for no good reason. Flinch, flinch, no, flinch! Oh! That's fine! Why was I afraid of a Makuhita? Just flinch, you little shit. Come on! Flinch! Flinch, you fat little bastard. Okay! That's just rude. No wonder I missed you. I got hit with three bloody sand attacks. I'm not exactly surprised at this point. Flinch, you fat little turd. I'll get you, Gadget. Finally flinched. Good. Go, go, gadget pocket sand. Yes, my foe is Ouija. And I tricked them. But that's just rude, you fat little shit. Just lie down and die with some semblance of dignity, you fat fuck. I mean, I'll get you, Gadget. I'll also freely admit, Ray, that I am using any and all, all, um, D and D time to uh, do voices time for D and D, uh, just to play with different vocal affectations, because look. I will freely admit that Sand Attack is a load of bullshit. Rude! No, you're already confused. Good. Why did I hit that button? Good. Hurt yourself. Rude! You're also not heavy, so low kick is the stupidest choice you could make. Oh. 
I can't believe I deal more than one hit point of damage. in one bloody turn, you little turd. Uh, bye bye now. Oh, so close to level up. No. I, I know there wouldn't be, but it feels like there should be an item stuck up here. believe that is all the trainers in this gym. Yeah. Which means I'm gonna leave now, heal up, and then come back. Do something possibly very... Actually, yes. The, the 19 level cap is actually an important thing to note. So, first things first, I'm actually gonna switch... Actually, no. I'm going to continue to switch training. I am going to use an old rod. There we go! I called a magic crap. I'm gonna use this to switch train into three silver dot, because you're literally one fight away from leveling up. Like, I just need to flick the little shit, and you're good. You've got to be kidding me. No! Ah! Uh. Nav. Magical. I got anyone? Reliable one, dad. Rad neighbor, man. These titles, man. Can I fight you? No, apparently not. There we go. I will never get over the sprite hunch forward if I when I run into a fight running. I will forever feel very stupid. God, this is what I get for watching Knives Out the other night. I'm just stuck in a Benoit Blanc uh, vocal affectation. Instead of him just being my internal monologue any time I'm DMing. Of you guys doing the, it's so dumb, it's brilliant. No, it's just dumb! Alright, so, Ray, have you ever seen the movie Knives Out? Because that is the first question I need to ask before I even attempt to explain and question any of this. Oh, that's actually really cute, Ray. I just got your Snapchat, that's great. 
So it is, but it is a very, I don't want to say satirical, but a very tongue-in-cheek rendition of the whodunit genre with some fucking titans of the acting industry. Like, you got Jamie Lee Curtis, Christopher Plummer, and um, Chris Evans all in the same movie, to name literally just three of the cast. Um, it's, it's very, very good. Uh, however, in the sequel, A Knives Out Story, A Glass Onion, um, in rebutting the sort of beats the story and mystery is taking, Benoit Blanc as Savannah, detective played by Daniel Craig of uh, James Bond fame, at least for our generation of James Bond fame. From what I've been told, his daughter is actually a lovely human being. Uh, D&D DM Dad has actually worked with uh, her on a number of occasions through Shakes and Co. Um, anyway, um, he plays a uh, private detective named Benoit Blanc, who in investigating the case of the Glass Onion, um, responds to a certain series of events saying it's dumb, and another character says it's so dumb it's brilliant, to which he just responds shouting, NO, IT'S JUST DUMB! Which, uh, not quite like that, but, yeah, no, um, <laughs> If it wasn't for your guys' inability to fail certain checks in D&D, would just be my mantra anytime you guys try anything. at 17. I do appreciate it. It, it is very D&D vibes in uh, how Ben Blanc uh, carries himself, but also I would, like, even if it just to watch the first one, I would greatly recommend it. Um, yeah, no, it's, it's good. I know puzzles are hard. I'm not saying they aren't. I'm saying that there is sometimes where I do not understand the logical leaps you all make. To which I, as a DM, will look at these choices and say, no, that's just dumb, because... I can't see what it looks like from the other side. No matter how many times I look at a puzzle, I already know the answer, so I will immediately be able to see the, the trace back to where you guys are all starting. It's the inherent fallacy of having the answer already in my pocket. I will always struggle to see it from the other side. We're gonna go ahead and hit Brawly in the face real good. Parth and I grown tough to in the pitch black cave. So you wanna challenge me? Let's see what you're made of. <laughs> Cha. Fuck off, Brawly. Lad, please.
Gucci boy, please! There we go. Excellent. Perfect! You literally had a pixel of health, you little turd. Well, Ray. How are you doing, darling? Ooh. Hmm, caught it. Hmm, picked up a thingy. I'm down to a four second delay. I am on the strongest Wi-Fi connection I can have. I honestly think that it's just the storm messing with my Wi-Fi connection at this point because this is too irregular yet frequent to, for it to be anything else at this point, especially since I think I'm the only other human awake in the house. So. Let's try this again. Ha! You know what? I'm not playing nice. We're just gonna go right into to you. Save. I hit pickles now. That does not bode well. Okay. No! Hiccups, why? I'm gonna be completely honest, Ray. I'm relying on you to tell me if my connection goes fucky wucky at this point because this is just getting ridiculous! Completely and utterly ridiculous! I'm not 
even remotely annoyed at you, I'm annoyed at me. And just physical internet connection. Fuck you, Brawly! Good, your special defense buff can roll off. Just roll over and you little turd. I do trust you to keep it quick, it's just that if my connection keeps dripping and dropping and just being in general Pathetic. It's it's I'm at that point where it's like I won't know something's wrong until it's too late kind of deal. Unfortunately. You know, this is honestly okay. If I use up all of Brawly's super potions on the fucking Meditite, he won't have anything to save and use for his ace. And that's just bully for me. Yeah, go in with that critical. How wow. <laughs> uh, <laughs> At this point, I'm just bloody fucking annoyed. Can you hear me in any way, shape, and form, internet? Cause god damn... Oh. <laughs> I, I'm at least getting a relatively active connection here on my phone. So we're just gonna... What are we doing? All right. Going to, I think we're going in with a confusion and hoping. Oh, hello. But that doesn't. Oh, you fat fuck. Just hit the blubbery bitch. <laughs> oh, thank fuck. I'll gladly take that crit. I will gladly, gladly take that crit. I'm gonna be completely honest, this victory feels fucking dirty because of the amount of technical issues we've been having. Um, our internet connection and service provider has been having difficulties throughout our area just due to the storm. We are in an area that has spotty coverage in general. I'm back, bitches, just in time to have defeated Brawly because apparently there are... So... According to Spectrum Wireless, which is from where we get our internet here in this domicile, uh, they've been having issues in and around our area during the entirety of this storm system. So I take solace in the fact that it is not me! <laughs> So it is in that regard to which I am very thankful 
And uh, I'm just gonna... Oh, it still completely sucks, though. I'm not gonna discount that, but it is very much a moment of... It's not my fault! And I can take solace in that fact, if nothing else. And it will honestly be nothing else in terms of solace, because... I'm just going to take this knuckle badge and run, I think, at this point. Uh. <laughs> but yes, uh, with the defeat of Brawley, I do believe that makes our next level cap. The Moor Wild City Gym at 24. I believe this is bulk up. Yes. Why would I do that? Yes, I now have the bulk up TM. I have defeated Brawly. My stream is currently only a handful of seconds behind me. So I'm going to take this as a win. And just hope and pray. <laughs> but regardless, I think that if I drop the connection. One more time! I'm just gonna end the stream because I'm tired of being a cursed fucking individual! Just one week where streams go as they're supposed to? Is that too much to fuck? Ask? I know what is because apparently the answer has been yes this entire time. As someone who has been here through the entirety of your attempt. Really? The only people that are able to learn it are Ray and farmers. Alright, fine. We're gonna remove one of Ways. It's a pointless fucking move, so we're gonna get rid of fucking teleport. Go away! But as, as someone who has been here through almost the entirety of your growing pains in terms of streaming, Ray, I feel as though I have been getting the brunt, the blunt end of the stick here. I mean, to be fair, no, not, 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 not doing, not saying any of that. I, nope, uh-uh. I am, and that's the thing I have a problem with. I have been getting a disproportionate amount of bullshit thrown my way. Fuck you, Makuhira, you fat motherfucker! On the upside, I can now level you up to a Curlia if I kill enough motherfuckers! Which is very easy since they are all super, uh, super weak to confusion attack. Which is nice for me. I mean, to be fair, yes, you just finished your your waltz sketch, but it is much more effective if I finish any of mine. Like, <laughs> of all of the people to finish their art of all of the wee beans. It's much more important that I finish off of mine. Um. That 
Frequency 24. I believe that means that if I swap out my magic up for Ponder, I can have a Gyarados. Which means I will put Soup Sanic back in the box. Go away. Oh! 69 experience points! Nice! Oh yeah! Copy that rock head! No! I'm not- you were at full HP, if anything killed you at full HP, I'd be bloody shocked at this point. No, I just hit the wrong button. I dropped my controller and selected Flash as opposed to Confusion. You're fine. No one- like... Yeah, since you- since you walked away, the only person that's taken damage is Ponder, and they've taken three hit points of damage. miss, but still. expectations to kill my balls because I have ideas and thoughts on how I want to draw Techware God of War and so help me God I will do it in a way that doesn't feel like I've been wasting my time yes yes run away you little shit <laughs> Sorry, I am in a distinct and specific mood at this point. And as I'm currently making sweet, sweet love to my microphone, I'm going to turn my input down just a touch. Since I'm currently sitting egregiously forward in my chair, approximately an inch and a half away from my microphone. Because I'm bloody pissed at the goings on of this stream. Oh, hello, Sableye. How about you just Sable die? How about that? Go away. Right, you're a dark type and ghost. I'm just gonna... No! Switch to the dark type! I don't switch to ASMR, I've just switched to a point where I can keep my volume down and not lose any acuity. If I wanted to go into ASMR, I'd turn up my gain drop my overall volume down in an egregious degree. I just leave it in the mic and just 
start talking like this the entire time. And it's at this point that we're going to start to come in with a pint. We're just going to come in with a bite on the disabled eye and just knock it out completely out of the fight. When we're talking quietly enough that we barely activate the VTuber, that's a sign. My throat's a wee bit too dry to do any of the bullshit, really. Like, I, I crack the jokes, but still. do any ASMR bullshit. The closest thing I can do is my closest affectation to an internet are, are bullshit, but no one wants to hear that, and I'm completely aware of that fact. So I'm just gonna stay here and wail on this fucking rock-type little shit. Looking at your Snapchat, Ray, I make you do nothing. I got 75 HP! Good for him! Terribly sorry! Is this any better? I'm literally sitting directly in front of my microphone. Everyone else in this. I'm sorry, everyone else in the house is trying to go to bed, so I need to be close to the microphone because everyone else is asleep. I will stay in the bar, and I'll be greatly uh, disappointed in myself. Anyway... Now, if there was ever a time to come in with the ASMR voices, it would be now. Because everyone else around me is trying to go to bed, so an ASMR voice will keep me right in the yellow and green zone. Hi, Steven. Yeah, your name is Steven. Also, let's face it, Ray. The VOD from this session is just gonna be a clusterfuck no matter what I do. But 
between the amount of stitching together I'm gonna have to do. <laughs> no matter what I do, this VOD is gonna be a mess. Like, to the point that I... I don't know what I want to do. It's fucking ridiculous. Ah. <laughs> All right, Stephen. Thank you. I'm gonna go to Slateport now. What? The VOD's already dead? No! Again? <laughs> no! <laughs> no, like, I'm still... Uh, oh, no, I'm just a couple of seconds behind. I'm just a couple of seconds behind. Oh no, I will sit in a uh, Lightroom and stitch this fucker together. <laughs> I am a determined little shit if nothing else. This will be one at least partially cohesive video, so help me God. <laughs> I'm gonna try! What do you mean you'll always say down if down? Like, are you saying if I can lie to the people about the VOD going down to replay it? I'd allow that if I hadn't saved before Steven! <laughs> or saved before things? Finish my cup of water. I'm gonna get to the Slate Port Pokemon Center and I'm gonna call it for the evening. Ahoy! For you all going to see any time. Now, my friend, where are we bound? Slate Port, let me go away. Let me run. Let me flee. Let me go. <laughs> Please. Let me just run to where I can buy things, please. Please. Ahoy, we've made it. Made land in Sleetport. I suppose you're going to visit Captain Star and deliver the Devon goods. I mean, yes, but also I'm just going to the Pokemon Center because I'm a feared little lad. Well, fuck you, you little shite! Oh, that's just rude. Oh, come on! Come on, no, no.
fuck off with your bubbly bullshit. Just fuck right off with the bubbles. I don't care. I just want you to die. So die. Please, yes, tentacle. Follow his lead, Azuril. Just fade away into the ether. Yeah, no, there's another fuck, there's another one for my fudge. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm just to the point where I've just turned into Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> <laughs> I I just got your Snapchat, and I will say no. He is just a depressed raccoon with PTSD. <laughs> I legitimately, that's all he is. He's an HM slave that I'm keeping tabs on because he is useful. Tentacool die as well. Just go away. <gasps> yes, die the squid lay. Squid die. Just rude. Just die. Little mouse orb. All you are good for is your own death. Exactly. Just faint, you little turd. I'm sorry. I have been feeling a certain kind of way during this entire bloody fight. Ah. Uh, yeah. No, I don't care, Trainer Lola. Go away. I just want the Pokeball. I just want the potion. Just let me go away, please. No, Elliot, fuck off. Yeah, fine. Yeah, okay. No. I'm finally in Slateport! I'm finally free! Ah. I didn't think a single Pokemon fight could break me rocks and <laughs> shut the fuck up! Pokemon. <laughs> I think that it is at this point. 
point that I'm gonna save and break down like the mess of a human being I am. I love each and every person that is, will, or has ever watched these videos. So long farewell. Until the next time we meet again, I hope that you make good choices or live to tell even better stories. I have been Great Codex. You have been wonderful. And until we meet each other again, so long and farewell, friends. Bye bye.